Hello viewers and welcome to another episode of How They Do It. I'm Meda here for Dudash and Kendra Shillong. And well, today we've come to another episode where we'll show you something a little different from what we've done in the past. Today we'll focus more on fashion since it's something that we deal with every day. It's part of who we are, right? And today we'll work with something called crochet. Crochet is an art form that has started as early as the 16th century or before that it started in Arab Arabia and it moved on to Spain and other parts of the world. And in the 16th century, they started to develop it into something more modern, something which is more to our appeal, right? Well, today, it's very interesting that we have with us Tammy Ding Daw. Tammy is one of these <coughs> wonderful artists who works with wool and other things to create patterns in crochet. Crochet is something which is a very simple tool, right, Tammy? Yeah. It's a hook, simply a hook and wool to create beautiful things. So let's go on ahead and talk to Tammy. Hi Tammy. Hi, hello. So nice to meet you. Same here. Okay, so I wanted to ask you first of all, what made you think of crochet? Basically, I didn't I didn't even know myself that I know how to do mm. crochet. So it started with a friend of mine. Usually we make uh, we do crafts, craft works like you made handmade gifts and all that. So we do events. We usually do events uh, like local events here in Shillong. And then uh, later on, my friend experimented with crochet. So she uh, introduced me to crochet. A friend of mine introduced me to crochet. So she called me home one day. She was like, Tammy, come, I'll show you some new things that we can work on. So I went over to a place and then she introduced me to crochet. So we started crocheting with small, small uh, things first, like earrings and uh, necklaces and all that, and then so on and so forth. So we started to learn new patterns and, and that. And from then onwards, I started to grow the interest of uh, crocheting. Okay, like this is something very interesting. People say crochet work or needle work is uh, knitting work is yeah, usually yeah. for old ladies. Yeah, yeah. You're still very young. Like, what what made you think of crochet and like fashion? Yeah, because uh, when I see crochet, there are there are many varieties. Like you can do a lot of things with crochet. Not because uh, when you think about like like you said, like only old ladies work with crochet and knitting and all that. So usually they only crochet or knit sweaters or like blankets or that sort of stuff but then with crochet you can you can really like crochet anything like you want like from a pillow cover like to a flower to earrings to yeah. tops to so dresses yeah it's very diverse so yeah. in today's fashion world how how would you say you can apply crochet to work uh, honestly, in uh, in northeast itself, it's not that familiar like crochet. So uh, people they like they still doubt about uh, crochet work and all that. So usually they only orders like baby uh, stuffs and all that. But then for I suppose for a teenage for adults, they haven't they don't have that much of an idea about crochet. So I'm starting. So right now I'm trying to introduce uh, crochet to people. Like you know, like you can. Uh, work with crochet with do yeah yeah do different, different yeah, yeah do different so you can things. Create products that are actually more uh, appealing to the yeah exactly generation. yeah something that they can wear or you know they can carry off like a top or a bag or a handbag yeah. or something like that yeah okay. <laughs> so uh, like we're going to watch you work in a short while sure. but I want to ask you how how do you market your products then because like you said it's not very appealing to the young people exactly. so how do you market it now so now I only do on orders crochet. So like I don't have a place where I keep my products like a shop or anything like that. So I do it. I work from home only. So suppose I do something. So for, I work with one product. So I post it on uh, WhatsApp or Facebook or Instagram. So like people, they see it and then my friends see it. And then like they started asking about crochet and then they started ordering like that. So I do it on orders only. Okay, well friends, we've had an interesting conversation with Tammy and we've heard about the fashion that you can create with crochet and a yarn. It's time for us to go watch how they do it, or in this case, how Tammy does it. Well, okay viewers, as promised, we're here at the workstation, Tammy's workstation, and we're going to watch how she does it. So right now, Tammy, I have no clue about <laughs> how to do all of this, so you have to tell me what all of this is, I know the yarn for sure, but okay. how do you work with it? What are the tools you need? So the tools that I usually work with is uh, the needle hook. Okay. okay. And then there are different types of uh, hooks. You have the bigger one, the small one, even the smallest one. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then it depends on the pattern and the product that you're doing. You have to choose according 
So, yeah, and the yarns, yarns for this uh, beanie, you can choose actually any yarn that you want. Okay, it doesn't have to be a specific yarn. So when you say any yarn that you want, yeah. you mean there are different types of yeah, yarns? Yeah, different types of okay. yarns. So uh, there are these uh, chunky yarns, we call it the chunky yarns. This is a uh, thick yarn, okay? And then uh, we have this uh, thinner one, okay? Like a two, three ply uh, yarns. Okay. And then, uh, yeah, so we have that. And also you would need uh, patterns. Patterns are very important, especially for, for beginners, okay. okay? So it goes the same for me. So when I started doing my work, I have to read the patterns first uh, in order to get the perfect, uh, to bring out the perfect product. Because uh, when you work with crochet, it's quite uh, difficult for beginners because you need to have a lot of focus, okay? And you have to understand the patterns okay. and uh, because the pattern, it works with numbers. When you do crochet, you have uh, numbers is very important. You have to keep on counting. <laughs> You're already scaring me. It sounds more like that. Yeah. Okay, Tammy, let's go on. Since you're t telling me about numbers and yeah, patterns, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you show me the beginning. How do you start? And okay. what are you going to make? First and foremost. All right. First and foremost, okay, I'm going to show you how to make this uh, beanie hat. First of all, you need to create a slip knot. Okay, so you take your yarn and your needle hook and then you make a slip knot by crossing the yarn over so you see it's like an X shape so you will take this yarn from under and then you will take out this yarn and you place your needle hook and that is a slip knot so after that we're gonna start with the foundation chain foundation chain is very important when you start to crochet your work because you need to work your patterns around these foundation chains okay so for this beanie that i'm going to show you you only need to chain two all right so you're gonna chain you're gonna yarn over and then you're gonna pull through the yarn okay that is chain one okay and you yarn over again and then you pull through the yarn through this chain over here okay like that all right so you have two chains over here one two okay and then after that we're gonna do six single crochet in this very first chain okay that you've created like that is your slip knot all right so you're gonna insert the hook into the first chain okay. okay and then you're gonna yarn over and then you're gonna pull through the yarn like that so now you have two loops in your hook you can see that all right and then you're gonna yarn over again and then you're gonna pull through both the loops that is called a single crochet this is chain two now you're gonna create one single crochet in the first loop of the chain okay. all right so you're gonna yarn over pull out the yarn and then you have two loops on your hook okay. so the next thing is you yarn over again and then you're gonna pull through both the loops that is your single crochet okay and we need to make six single crochet in this in the same in the same chain okay, in the first chain. chain okay so this is your first uh, first sorry and you're going to make five more single crochets over here so you're going to do the same thing you're going to insert the hook in the same chain okay and then you're going to have two two loops and then you pull out i see that you don't loops. work too tight on your work no 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 okay, okay and then that is two now from here, we're gonna start to increase, okay? Increase the shape of this beanie. I guess you remember the single crochet. Okay, you're gonna insert the hook in the first chain. Yarn over, you pull through. And that also completes the circle. Yes. Okay. okay, you have to do all across until you reach the first chain, all right? Yeah, and then you have to put two single crochet in each so I've reached to the last chain okay, okay of the circle fast. yeah <laughs> all right now the last chain you're going to do the same thing you're going to put two single crochet so this is just the first round okay okay now what you're going to do is you're going to chain two Okay, you make chain two chains and then after that you're gonna do one single crochet in the first chain. 
okay and then two single crochet in the next chain so it's a quite simple when you once you know how to do it okay yes friends she said it looks quite simple for me it's still very daunting i don't want to take it up yet let's continue watching her work so we're going to continue this way until you reach the first stitch all right so you're going to continue from 2 to 3 to 4 to 5 to 6 7 8 9 10 basically you're building it yeah, we're building it so for a medium size uh, hat beanie hat you're going to have to do 10 rounds of this okay so you will reach to this size okay you will reach to this size this is i guess the round 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 this is the eighth round okay. so you need two more rounds to finish this circumference of the hat all right so i'm almost there All right, I'm going to do two single crochet here. So if you see, I have to end with the same numbers. You cannot like suppose if you've reached to two single crochet and you can't uh, cross more than five times. Really? So that would you'll make a mistake. So the shape of the uh, okay. the pattern will go wrong. Okay, okay. okay, so it has to be the exact A numbers. Okay, okay? So it's like a complete circle. Exactly. Okay. Pull through the yarn, and then you're not going to yarn over because you're doing you're closing the work. So you're going to take the chain and slip it through. Okay. May like I have that. a look? Yeah. Okay. As you can see, it's the top of the hat is almost complete. And I think it will fit me perfectly. <laughs> We should move on to the rest of the Yeah, hat. yeah, yeah, the rest okay. of the hat. Now we're going to start with another round. That is a different pattern. Okay. okay. So, you see this first stitch over here? Yeah. Okay, we're going to chain 2 again. 1 2. And now we're going to work with double crochets. Are you familiar with double crochets? That's <laughs> That's a very painful question to ask me especially when I don't even know. Okay, to do no worries, I'm going to show you. All right. Okay. So, now we're going to do one double crochet in this very same chain that you've chained these two chains. Okay, okay. you see there's a loop over here. Yeah. Now we're going to start the double crochet right there. Okay. All right. So, why do you change the pattern? So that it will increase so that you will get this shape over here. Okay. Okay so the circumference of the hat is done now you want the shape of the hat okay all right so now we're going to start with a double crochet okay you're going to yarn over mm -hmm. okay and then you're going to insert the hook okay and then you're going to pull through the yarn okay and then you're going to yarn over again yeah. now you have three loops over here okay you need to pull out two loops first okay okay and then you're going to yarn over again and then you pull out again two that is called a double crochet i'm still continuing with the double crochet pattern okay so you can see the shape of the hat is coming around okay yeah. okay okay i'm at the last chain of my work okay so the close up like we did the first time okay we're going to do a slip knot okay okay in the two chains that we made okay you're going to insert your hook yarn over pull through the hook and not, you're not going to yarn over the, anymore mm -hmm. you're going to just slip it like that i really okay. like the but the colors of this uh, the yarn especially yes so where do you get this kind of yarn we have uh, different types of yarns here okay so <laughs> yeah i ordered it online <laughs> okay what else are you going to make for us tammy all right <laughs> now i'm going to show you how to make a cowl what is a cowl a cowl is almost like a neck warmer okay it's not a muffler mm -hmm. okay but it's a neck warmer 
So what we do is we're gonna create this skull. So it's just it will only fit on your neck. So another fashion accessory for all you viewers out there. A cow coming up next. Okay, let's move on to that. Okay, the next product that I'm going to show you is uh, this skull over here. Okay, so many of you might be wondering what is a cowl, right Mida? <laughs> okay, so this is not a muffler but a cowl, it's like a neck warmer. So it's a, it has only two patterns you're going to work with only two patterns and it's very simple the patterns are the V pattern okay you can see uh, this part over here it's like a V shape okay. we're gonna work with that and these shell patterns over here okay, okay you can see the shape they're like shells okay. all right so we're gonna work with these two patterns that is the V and the stitch shell. and the shells all right first of all you need to make the foundation chain the most important thing like you cannot start a pattern without the foundation chain okay so it's not like that for yeah. the beanie where you just have beanie to... yeah two, oh, two. okay yeah. for beanie we only need two okay. foundation chains but for this it's uh, different okay we're gonna need like around 30 to 38 That's chains okay. yeah I that is the size for, uh, working so for a baby okay. okay the slip knot again okay. and then you're gonna make these chains okay Right. So, and please don't forget to count your your chains. Okay. You, so, you suppose you need thirty. That means it has to be exactly thirty. Okay. There you go. I have thirty-eight chains over here. Thirty-eight. Thirty-eight. Okay. okay. So, the next part. Okay. This is the first round. So, the next round is. Okay. We're gonna chain one. Okay? okay and then you're gonna skip one chain okay so see this is your first chain over here you're gonna skip this one we're not gonna work with the first one, with the first one. we're gonna work in the second chain okay. okay you're gonna work one double crochet in the second chain okay. all right so now what you do here is you're gonna chain two one two okay good so that we're gonna create the v-shape over here okay. all right so now in the same chain over here that you did the first double crochet we're gonna do another double crochet in the very same chain over here okay, okay? you're not gonna work on the next stitch but the very same chain, chain okay? okay so you've chained two or you can chain three all right So there you go, we have our first V-stitch. Okay, so you can see here, it's already forming. Yeah. So we have done our first V-stitch. Yeah. Okay. Alright? Yeah. So you've skipped two chains, right? So now, we're going to skip three chains. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and we're going to work on the fourth chain. Okay. Alright? Okay, so you can see Meba, you have one, two, three chains left. Yeah. Okay, so what you're gonna do here is you're not gonna create a V stitch anymore. Okay. okay, you're gonna do one double crochet. Okay, so that will close the like The first round. So this repeats throughout, right? Yeah, this, we have another pattern to make and then it repeats throughout. Okay. Okay. There you go, you have your first shell, shell stitch, stitch over here, okay? After you're done with the first shell stitch, you're going to chain one yeah. and then you're going to continue all across, okay? Okay, With this pattern, shell. the shell stitch. So, when you do that, you will get this, okay? It will come out like this, alright? You this can see beautiful. the patterns are coming out nicely, Yeah. alright? So, it's actually different from the mufflers and... You of know course. the neck warmers that you usually get this yeah. side, alright? So, 
it's easier to carry around also it's yeah exactly you can just in slip it in your sling bag yeah, or your bag exactly. or I suppose if it's sunny so you don't want to wear it as yet so in the evening you just can take it out and wear it I've already taken this because I, I see that this is complete it's yeah that is complete yes so do you think I can fit into this I think so Sure. Try it on. Yeah, I think I should try this so that you can see how it looks like. Yeah. Otherwise, you'll never try this at home. So, hoping that this fits me. Just gonna wear like a sweater. Yep, it does. And voila, you have this. It's beautiful. It keeps you warm. Of course, in this weather, I wouldn't want to wear this. But in the winter, this would. Be I won't even advise you to wear it. <laughs> well, friends, she's equipped me. This is the hook. <laughs> This is a yarn, right? <laughs> yeah, Mira, since you wanted to learn, so I'm going to teach you. Okay. The simplest thing uh, that is uh, this ear warmer. Okay, you call it a headband or ear warmer. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this pattern is a twisted pattern, like the ear warmer. You can see like it's twisted. It's not plain, but it's I, twisted. I love how you have <laughs> such high hopes for me that I'll be able to make this in this time. But okay, but then, let's start. You know, you can always try new things. Okay, fine. Okay, so. First of all, we're gonna do the foundation chain again. Okay. okay. So that is your slip knot. Tammy, I really don't know how to do a slip knot like that. Can I do it my way? Yeah, sure, sure. Okay, I'll do it. Whatever a makes way it more. easy for this you. This is how I do a slip knot. It's easier for me. Yeah. Okay. All right. Okay, I'm I'm like shaking, but okay. Yeah. Slip knot. So for this, you're gonna need like 50 chains, but I'm not gonna do 50 chains because I'm just showing Thank you, you so okay. I'll do a shorter version okay. just for you to get the pattern, pattern. Okay. okay so I'm gonna do 10 chains at the most one okay let me follow you one two hold on hold on this it's is okay not no easy. problem two two no pressure three so now we're gonna do single crochet in each stitch okay single crochet you but still I'm remember yes single crochet okay you're gonna insert your hook in the first loop insert okay now you have two loops okay two loops all right yarn over yarn over and then you're gonna pull through both the loops okay i don't know how to do what she's doing so i'm like pulling those <laughs> and pulling that honestly <laughs> beginner i'm so. fine with it okay, okay. all right so I'm almost at the last chain. I'm halfway through. <laughs> it's okay, no problem. Okay, Tammy. Yep. I'm gonna stop. I'm All really right. going to stop. No worries. So what I'll show you is the end part, okay. the end result of this pattern. Okay. Oh, I can already see the ditch. You understand? Yeah, that's beautiful. Yeah. So you're gonna continue. This is quite a collection, right? Exactly. You can see over I there. I see. There's a top. Yeah. This is that a top. is. Uh, this is actually a crochet crop top. Crochet okay. crop top. Yeah. This is a crochet crop top. Okay. This uh, I actually made this for someone. It's okay. uh, like someone ordered it uh, from me. Okay. So I've made this. Can uh, we hold it like this? Yeah. That we can sure. See how it is. Sure. 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 Yeah. That's pretty. So. Yeah. This. Uh, the patterns you can see, Meda. I'll, I've shown you how to do the shell stitch yeah, uh, yeah. patterns. Yeah. Okay. So we did the shell stitch pattern, and these are the double crochet okay. patterns, okay. and then we work with single crochet. Oh, that's so nice. All right. I like it. It's pretty. Yeah. See, it, it doesn't just have to be uh, for income. It can just be your own fashion. Exactly. Like, you, know, you, you can, can wear it yourself. yourself. Yeah. yeah. I see something else since it's summer. Yeah. Right? <laughs> yeah. Is that this? is a bikini. A bikini. <laughs> yeah. Well, ladies, this is another thing you can buy. Yeah, you, you can, can actually it. wear this uh, during summertime because uh, this yarn is uh, it's a different kind of yarn. Like it's um, a cotton yarn. Okay. okay? Well, because when you wear it during summer, it's not gonna <coughs> like it's you not, know. Yeah. It's, yeah. It won't hold the heat. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so I see a, a hat. This obviously this is, is for a winter. hat. Yeah, that is uh, for babies actually, not babies. It's for children. children. Oh, yeah. So okay. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. I'll move on because I see so many things. It's so pretty and I like this. That is a clutch. This is something you can definitely Okay, this use. is made out of a chunky yarn. We call it a chunky yarn. It's very thick. Yeah, and uh, it feels nice. Yeah, yeah, it feels, it feels nice. The grip is really exactly. Nice. So this is really pretty. It's a clutch. Yeah. And it looks simpler to me. My favorite are these. Oh. These cute baby oh, booties. I really love please. working with these because when you're done with it, they come out really nicely. So okay, let's yeah, show I that. like it. Let's show that nicely. These, these are yeah. booties.
This is a different kind of yarn. This is uh, actually I ordered it online. Okay, I didn't buy it from here, but I ordered it online. It's a stole, eh? Yeah, it's a stole. It's pretty. Yeah, it's also for autumn, summer, autumn. Okay, did I just roll that? <laughs> okay, uh, I've seen so many of the things that you've worked with crochet, yeah. but then I see things that looks different. Different, also. like we, I have these earrings, earrings. over here. Yes, these are. Uh, we call it a boho earring. Like you know, it's on the boho side. These are pretty. Yeah, These are really pretty. I think I should try them on. Well, Tammy, I've seen your talent. I mean, it's it's just amazing. I, what you can do with just a yarn and a hook is amazing. Yeah. And she encourages, right? You would like yes. beginners to... Yes. Actually, I would like, uh, like, you know, the youths, encourage the youths, like, you know, don't be afraid to try new things, whether, whatever, whatever it is, whatever talents or skills you have, like, don't be afraid, like, to you know, to hold them back you know you show them you show them to people you show it out okay you show off so that you know one day you will reach where you want to be exactly yeah. and then tammy can actually say what what can tammy actually say at the end she can say that's how they do how it right they do it exactly <laughs> it's no longer how tammy does it but how they do it how they do all it you will be doing it as yeah, well exactly well, friends we've come to the end of this episode i hope you've enjoyed it as much as i did i've seen a lot of products and i've seen some fashion a new trend that will start in Shillong hopefully and in the rest of Meghalaya as well and the rest of India, right? Exactly. If everybody takes it up. Well, with this, we come to the end of this episode of How They Do It. I've had a wonderful time with Tammy here and you can check her out on Instagram and other... What other platforms are you in? Facebook, Instagram. Yeah. Check her out on Instagram yeah. and on Facebook and follow her and get a look at her different products that she makes from time to time. Thank you for tuning in. Stay tuned in the next episode of How They Do It.